Yeah. Okay, so I'm rebuilding this 1978 uh, R100 7 BMW and uh, the seat pans uh, are thin, they tend to rust out, so uh, it's getting a little floppy on the mount and whatever, so I pulled that and I bought these two things uh, for Harley Sportster actually, so I custom fit these. Um, I haven't finished this one yet, but um, this will go in there and then uh, that will mount on the cross bracket, so whatever. Uh, the point is that I bought this bobber seat, all right, and this has worked out really well. It's uh, not a great quality, there's a little bit of sealant stain on this and whatever, so. But, you know, it's actually a nice ride. Um, it comes down to the hardware. You really got to supply a lot of the hardware yourself. Uh, nylock nuts in here, heavier washers. Uh, this is not pre-drilled because it's custom. And um, so I had to make the mount out of um, angle iron. Um, it's probably better not to weld it because you got to do a little adjusting on on this fine tuning on this to make it fit right the uh the, the frame bolts of course are already there uh, so this mounts right in there perfectly you got to have uh reinforcement for the, the thin neck on this uh base plate right here uh, because of the custom mount of it perhaps it uh, tends to bend there so um, that's always a good idea uh, to have more reinforcement, uh, I also need to jack it up a little bit, so I used a flange nut here um, and a couple of other washers because it had a, a large bore in that big washer. Um, this is nice because you can gain access to the uh, tool kit down in there and uh, this pivots up and the reason it pivots is that um, I used um, half of a hinge. This is half of a, uh, a regular hinge. I bought a tractor supply and uh, pounded the uh, pressed in uh, hinge pins, uh, pounded those out and it fit just perfectly. Uh, I think it, the, the holes were actually already there and everything. So um, a little bit of a spacer adjustment there, a few washers uh, to get it far enough forward there. Um, so Overall, it's really about getting the dynamic balance right on this. Um, for one thing, you want to get that bolt head underneath here. Um, that This mounts this bolt right here. You want to get that all the way forward. There's a slot on the base plate. And you want it all the way forward so that it hits here. You can see the score so that when I, I finish opening this up, and lifting the, the seat, um, that bolt head actually is uh, resting right on the, uh, the hinge, uh, the curled end of the hinge. Um, so there's just all kinds of little details. It's not going to get done in an afternoon. Now because it rests on the, the hinge, it adds a little resistance and it just kind of stays there by itself, otherwise you got to push it all the way in. But even if you push it all the way in, it's not a big deal. So, um, but if you replace the seat um, cover and put some gel on it and uh, leather, tooled leather or something, you know, um, <clears throat> yeah, it's something you want to be a little careful of maybe. Uh, so, yeah, it makes a nice hinge here. Um, I was careful about the spacers in here. Uh, this kind of thing you got to pay attention to. Also, um, I put a, a couple of pieces of little wedge-shaped uh, plastic-like stuff in the middle of this so that it, it actually has some play there. I mean, this would normally be mounted, but it, even so, these uh, hinge, these uh, springs, which hopefully are stainless, will uh, uh, allow us just a slight amount of pivot, which adds to the comfort of the ride. Um, so these bolt placements are important. You got to get those just right and uh, get the right bolts and everything. Use jam nuts, they're thinner. Um, and then uh, I got these uh, little um, bumper 
mounts like uh, Scott, uh, I think they are Scott uh, brand. So they, they hit here, I just file those down a little bit so they, they rest in there nicely. And uh, then these hit right on here. So that adds a little more, more support for your hinge because you want to reduce flex. Flex is okay if it's not too much. And so that kind of, um, you know, locks in the amount of flex that you have on that. So all the way around, um, it works out very well. Um, I'm really happy with it. Um, and um, I'll just continue rebuilding this thing. And uh, well, hope you got some information out of it. Uh, I didn't want to go through the whole procedure, righty tighty, lefty loosey, and all that good stuff. So uh, have fun, enjoy.